Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to continue moving down the system tree uh, in Psycho Content Editor and take a look at publishing targets. Publishing targets allow us to define the target databases where we'd like our content to be published from the master database. As we may already know, Sitecore by default comes with two content databases, master, the source database where we edit our content, and web is the delivery database, the default delivery database, which we, once the contents are ready and have gone through the workflow, uh, through the process of publishing, we copy that content over to the web database and it becomes available for public. Uh, so let's take a look at publishing settings and where they're located and how they're configured. So if we go to the content editor, publishing settings are located under system, publishing targets, publishing targets, not settings. And the only uh, field, or there are a couple of fields to fill out, the, but the, by default, the only one that's uh, uh, required for a database is uh, the uh, target database. Now this is the name of the database we'd like to publish our content to as one of the options. Now this name should match the name of the database in the connection strings file. Uh, so, so what is the uh, uh, recommended practice with the publishing targets? Well, here's a, um, here's a quick scenario. Now, having just one web publishing target for environments like dev or integration, QA, UAT, or staging perhaps works just fine. However, production environments have much uh, stricter rules, regulations, more complex rules that guard um, either the security of the instance or uh, the content promotion or publishing workflow. And in some cases, uh, it gets trickier where some of the people that need to participate in the workflow uh, or content approval workflow do not have access or cannot have access to the site environment, environment for one reason or another, whether it's some internal business rules uh, or uh, licensing issues. Now. This is where the problem stems from. So, uh, we're able to preview our content changes by s clicking on the content item, not, uh, navigating to the Publish tab. We can either click Preview or Experience Editor, uh, and the page will be displayed either in the right pane here at the Content Editor or uh, open up an Experience View Editor uh, where we can see our, the way our changes will look um, uh, once they're published. Now the trick is again, you have to be logged in as a Sitecore user to preview those changes. So what about the people that still have to participate in the content approval workflow, uh, yet they don't have access to Sitecore? How would they be able to preview these changes? By default, they can't. The only way to preview a change publicly without logging into Sitecore is once it's been published to the web database. And that's unacceptable because at that point, it's already been delivered to public. So what we can do to solve this issue is to add another publishing target called Preview. So using that publishing target, we'll uh, point it to a new database, which will be simply a duplicate of our web database. Uh, so our pre Preview target will point to our new Preview database, and we'll define a new site definition uh, with, a, let's say, that Preview extension, um, or uh, you know according to whatever name uh, the business decides to give it, and make that site available to internal users only. Now, that domain name will not be available to public users, so when we publish to the preview database, uh, it won't go out to public just yet. However, internal stakeholders will have access to it, will be able to preview the changes without having to log into Sitecore, approve them, and then uh, which will in turn move on, will, you know, will be published uh, eventually to the public, to the web database, to the delivery instances. So let's go ahead and walk through the process of setting that up. So first, since we're in Sitecore, let's uh, define a new publishing target, we'll call it Preview. And let's say we're going to call our connection string just that, Preview. Now, to uh, save us some time, I've already gone through uh, the process of attaching the database. So as you can see, we have master, web, 
and preview, so preview is the new database. What I've done is simply uh, stop the SQL Server instance. I've copied the web databases and I've attached them as uh, the preview uh, database instance. What I've also done is I've gone into the IS Manager and also create a new binding for our new preview site. Test that preview. If you notice, our current domain name is just simply test. Now there are a few more things that we need to do to enable the preview environment. First, we need to set up a new site definition to listen for that new domain name. What I'll do is I'll cheat and I'll make an edit directly in the Sitecore configuration file. Um, in practice, uh, in, out in the field, of course you never want to do that. You, uh, it's uh, recommended to create patch files. So we'll call this new instance website preview. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it has a uh, host name. Let's take a look here. No, it does not. So we'll give it a host name attribute and have it listen for test.preview domain name. And last thing on this item, we'll need to change the database to preview as our source database. Okay. And everything else looks good. Okay, the next thing we need to do is add a new database definition. And again, here I will cheat and just copy the web database definition. It essentially, uh, just for the sake of the demo, uh, we'll, uh, we'll reuse the web's, uh, web definition. Uh, in real life, you'd want to modify some of these values and, and perhaps uh, some of the settings for the preview database. Okay, let's go ahead and call this new database instance preview. Okay, and finally, the last step would be to add a, oh, let's see here, let's go back in, to add a new preview connection string. Okay, let's go this preview and as we saw, our database is attached as underscore preview here. Okay, so again, let's uh, uh, walk through the steps. We've uh, created a new publishing target. We pointed it to the preview connection string. We've added the preview connection string. We've uh, duplicated the web database and attached it as a preview database. And we've uh, added that database, the new preview database definition in uh, the Sitecore configuration node. Um, we've also added a new binding to the Sitecore site for our preview website. And we've also, I forgot to mention, modified the host file uh, for to point the new uh, preview URL back to our loopback address to 127.0.0.1 uh, in this case. Um, in reality, of course, there would need to be a proper DNS uh, uh, link change. So, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, refresh our Sitecore instance. At the same time, let's go ahead and hit test and let's see. Here, test dot preview. Forgot the URL that we had. Now let's go ahead and make sure that this is the URL that's published to both databases. I've been um, doing some modifications here and there, so let's publish it to both targets. Now notice how we have a second publishing target option here. So the internet is the default, now we have preview. We'll hit OK. So content is now being published to both databases, web and preview. So if we go to test preview, we get Sitecore Experience Platform, test Sitecore Experience Platform. Excellent. OK. So now, let's go ahead and modify this title. So first, let's preview, make sure that it got saved correctly. This is a new, um, not new, but uh, uh, a little development shortcut that I use. Um, adding SC database uh, query string, we can control the source database that uh, the content is coming from. And that only works if you're logged in, of course. 
otherwise it'd be a huge, huge security hole. So as we can see, the master database has the new title. However, none of the other databases have that. Now, in practice, we would have some sort of a workflow, and that workflow would, uh, would take care of automatically publishing content to the preview environment, or, or a content author would manually do that to make it available for internal preview. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I've disabled workflows, so we'll go ahead and just publish to preview manually. And here it is. Let's see, so the test, now this is our delivery environment, still has the old title. Now our preview environment has been updated to new. Now at this point, business users can uh, take a look at the new changes on the website without having to log into Sitecore. And once approved, they can let the uh, authors know uh, to move on with the content publishing process with the uh, approval workflow and publish it to the web environment delivery. And if we go to our test URL, now we see the updated title. So there we go. Uh, we can use publishing targets to create preview environments for our internal business clients when business rules get pretty complex. Uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, for uh, more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. Uh, please uh, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, put some comments below with uh, some ideas for future videos. And I will see you next Friday. Over and out.